BioNTech sees the potential to supply 3 billion COVID shots in 2022. Earlier, Bloomberg's Matt Miller spoke with the CEO of BioNTech about the company's ability to boost production. Take a listen. In, in principle, this, this could be possible, so we are evaluating that. But it also depends on the order book. Yeah. Uh, so the question is now with, with a number of, of uh, additional additional uh, vaccine companies coming in uh, into 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 the market. Uh, our key question is how much doses are required. Yeah, and uh, where is the need uh, to deliver? And and this is something that we are evaluating at the at the moment. What about the possibility of forging new partnerships? I mean, I know you've already worked um, with a bunch of other smart companies. Do you think, are you in talks with others to produce the vaccine um, in higher quantities and in more places? Yeah, we, we are. We have uh, still some undisclosed uh, negotiations ongoing. Um, but but uh, we have managed to establish, uh, establish a network with 13, 13 partners. Yeah, partners producing for us uh, raw materials like lipids, yeah, uh, and and partners who are helping us uh, in producing drug product and partners in helping us uh, also for fill and finish, uh, like um, uh, uh, Zanofi, Baxter, or Novartis. So this is a network, a production network, and of course this production network uh, 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 includes the. BioNTech production sites, including the the Marburg site, which will which will come in now in April, and as well as the as the production site site um, uh, sites of Pfizer, and in Europe it's Poor's. Yeah. Are, are you confident that um, you're going to be able to produce enough vaccines this year and next year with all of your partners to vaccinate everyone in the world? Does that look like an attainable uh, goal to you, at least in terms of quantity, by say the end of 2022. That must be the goal of of all vaccine suppliers. So we need to to ensure um, that that everyone who who needs a vaccine receives and wants a vaccine receives a vaccine. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty confident that we will be able uh, able to. Uh, uh, to um, to uh, reach um, reach uh, um, uh, provide vaccines uh, for for, uh, for 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 in Europe and uh, in the United States uh, and ensure that everyone who requires a vaccine gets a vaccine until end of summer. Uh, of course, this this assumption is based on that we are not running into 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 multiple production problems, and I am also confident that. Within 2022, we we can have sufficient sufficient vaccine doses to ensure vaccination worldwide. What are your plans for production next year? You want to produce two billion doses by the end of 2021. What about what about 2022? Yeah, in principle, we we could further increase our manufacturing uh, capacity. So there, I don't see a limitation why we should not be able to produce even. Three billion doses in 2022, and it really uh, um, uh, depends on the de demand. It depends on factors, for example, uh, uh, whether whether additional boost vaccinations are required. It uh, will depend on on potential changes in the in the in the in the strains. Yeah. Uh, and 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 therefore we are prepared to further increase our manufacturing capacity, but we we need to get get um, additional information, which might come in in the next six months.